welcome to episode two of Basic Bitch DYI. I'm your host, Basic Bitch Becky, and today we are sanding, chalk painting, waxing and distressing an old set of chest of drawers. Not to be confused with Chester drawers. I learned recently I've been calling this bad boy a Chester drawers for my entire life. This is a Chester. This is a chest of drawers. Chester. And chest of drawers. So the first thing I've actually done, I kind of already did this just to save time for videoing. You want to empty out everything in your drawers because the last thing you want is to get paint on your cute clothes. That's not going to happen. So we're using, it's Annie Sloan chalk paint. And this is supposed to be like pretty legit stuff. We're going to paint the top part and give it kind of a distressed, like, old wood look. So we're going to paint it with the French linen first and then just kind of dry brush a little bit of white into it. And then we're going to paint the body of the chest of drawers just like an old antique white. We're actually going to take this little sandpaper block and kind of, um, we're going to give it kind of like a old rustic distressed look. And we're just going to kind of like sandpaper like around the edges and other areas where it might actually kind of age and distress a little bit. So the chalk paint you're supposed to be able to paint over any surface without it like bleeding through or having any issues but I'm gonna actually go ahead and sand it just like kind of a medium grit sandpaper just because I want to make sure it's actually gonna uh, I want to make sure it's actually gonna stick to the paint. So we're just gonna kind of give it a light sanding kind of scruff it and buff it up. I am wearing the basic bitch outfit. I've got my yoga pants, along with my Ugg boots. Snapchat. Speaking of Snapchat, if you guys aren't following my Snapchat, my name's Bectorius. I love talking to you guys, so send me a message and I will respond every time, unless you send me a dick pic or something that's making fun of me. Then you'll just get blocked. But if you want to send me positive messages, then add me on Snap and send me a message. So I'm thinking about doing my intro for my YouTube. It's uh, it's like Uprising by Muse, so I haven't figured out the complete lyrics yet, but just like a quick 10 seconds. Because I'm a big dork and I don't care. If you guys like dorky videos, you've come to the right place. Um, what I'm doing now, I'm just going to kind of wiping the dust off from where I sanded it. Doesn't have to be like sopping wet, just kind of damp. First I'm just going to start out with the French linen which is kind of a gray color and then that way I can go ahead and wash the paintbrush and then just switch over to the white and then dry brush it in, let that dry and then um, paint it white. And one thing when you're painting, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but it's always best to kind of start out with a thin coat and build as you go however many layers. Usually with the darker woods if you're trying to cover it, you'll probably have to get like at least two or three layers. But you just kind of, kind of want to paint in like varying brush strokes. So life hack. Um, with the paint brushes, all you got to do to switch between paint colors, just rinse it out real quick. Use a little bit of Dawn dish soap. Like it's, you want like some kind of like grease cutting soap. And... Um, you don't even have to let it dry or anything. You can just go ahead and switch to your paint colors. Also with this, um, another life hack, and I've had this issue before. When you're, if you leave your drawers connected to your base, which is what I'm gonna do just because it's easier, make sure you leave them open to dry because if you don't, then 
your paint's gonna dry and it's gonna stick and then it's gonna pull. It's so pretty. I'm so excited about this. <sighs> okay, so we've got the first coat of paint on. I'm gonna let that dry overnight, do another coat tomorrow, let that dry. Then we're gonna start distressing. Then we're gonna get de-stressed and do some distressing. So I didn't actually film this part, but I just kind of did like a dry brush technique and just kind of varied my strokes. I added some of the white paint into the gray top and that just kind of gives it a distressed old wood look for the top of this dresser. So here is our two coats. Now we're gonna start distressing. So if you want to give your piece of furniture kind of like an old, kind of worn in look, you're just going to take one of these little block, sanding blocks, and you're just going to kind of like scuff up the edges, maybe not on that side, but like scuff up the edges and just kind of get the paint sanded off a little bit, just kind of in areas that it might kind of tend to age naturally and once we do that then we're going to um kind of kind of wipe it dry and then we're going to add a dark wax to it we've got annie sloan's dark soft wax and we're just going to kind of put like a really thin coat on the top i don't i don't know i'll zoom in but i don't really like what it ended up looking like here. It just looks dirty. And you kind of place it and do kind of circular motions. So kind of along the edges, um, I kind of just did like a light dark wax and it kind of gives it that old wood look. I'm like the nanny on the Muppet Babies. Let's fix that. There we go. Okay. So let's say you put some dark wax on around your edging and you don't like the way it looks. So what I did to kind of like tone that down is you could dip your paintbrush back into your white paint or whatever color paint you used as your base coat and you can kind of go back over it and just um, kind of brush back over it and it's just going to kind of fade it out a little bit more. Actually going to let this dry overnight and I'll come back tomorrow and do the clear coat put the uh, hardware back on and show you guys the finished product. All right. I love this stuff. It's so fun. Are you guys like, what the heck am I wearing? I found this like onesie in my drawer. I think I ordered it from like Fashion Nova or somewhere. And it looks completely different than what it did on the website. <laughs> so I'm just like, who's wearing this? I don't even know how I feel about it right now. You know how there's like different Instagram like looks or whatever like and people do like contouring and apparently like squiggle brow is a thing so I want to do I want to like overdo the contouring and like but not blend and just contour it and like have like the dark and the light and the squiggle brow and I want to go out in public and get people's reactions so I might do that here in a few weeks So we've got the finished product here. Um, I kind of skipped the whole clear wax process. It basically works the same as the dark wax. And I don't think it really matters if you do the clear wax or dark wax first. I just did the dark wax just because then you can seal it with the clear wax. Um, but you can either do it in circular motions like I did with the dark wax or you can just brush it on like if you're doing just like a regular paint job. Um, went to Home Depot, Home Depot Lowe's, any hardware store you can get. I just chose this kind of old antique -y look for to match the style of this. I really like that the clear wax, it kind of toned down the white. It was kind of a brighter white when I painted it on, but it kind of gives it that antique -y look. Almost like, almost like, did you guys ever watch Welcome to Pooh Corner on the Disney Channel? 
how do you do? Da -na 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 -na. At Pooh Corner. Da -na 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 -na. Winnie the Pooh and Christopher Robin count all the beads in the hive, chase all the clouds from the sky. Yeah, I have you guys enjoy my videos and my weird sense of humor. Tune in next time. We're gonna turn the closet from drab to fab. Why do I do these videos? <laughs>